shooter's yeah, got a three minute prep period. I'll get to the line so I can make sure everything is safe. In the sport of competitive rifle, athletes use finely honed skills, endurance, and mental focus to shoot precisely. Shot after shot is fired with the hope of scoring tens. Sixty shots later, the match is over. Each athlete leaves the range with a score, a measure of his or her work. Competitive rifle has grown in popularity and athleticism, and it spans all ages. Young competitors join the youth level clubs such as 4-H, JCs, Boy Scouts, and the American Legion. Advanced competitors can compete with traveling teams in college and at the Olympics. The skill level is exceptionally high in this sport. You have to be a proficient shooter to, to have any kind of shot at being competitive in the sport nowadays, so um, it's just hard. A full course match consists of 120 shots. The goal is to get the most shots closest to the center of the bullseye. Most small bore matches consist of 20 shots in each of three positions, prone, standing, and kneeling. In international air rifle matches, all shots are taken from the standing position. Many youth programs also offer a three position air rifle match. Rifle is a very difficult sport. Hitting the target, which is pretty tiny from 50 feet or even up to 50 meters away. Athletes in all collegiate matches and many significant local and national matches fire 120 rounds in approximately four hours. 60 of those shots in three position small bore and 60 in international air rifle. All of these shots are taken using aperture sights. We have two disciplines, air rifle and small bore. Um, air rifle is from a distance of 10 meters and we shoot 60 shots in standing for 75 minutes. And uh, then small bore, we have three positions, prone kneeling and standing. We have 20 shots in each position and for a total of 145 minutes. You are an athlete. You have to have the physical training, the mental training. You practice as many hours as you can possibly practice. Um, it's the same as in football when you enter. Um, catch balls or throw balls. You have to take the shot, you have to pull the trigger, and you have to repeat that process every single time you shoot. Many times a near-perfect score is needed to win a match. Each athlete is ranked on the results page. Some have shot their personal bests, some have shot their average scores, and some will leave the range disappointed. All will leave planning how to increase their scores next time. This is as much of a sport as soccer, football, basketball, any other sport. It's, um, it requires a child to be disciplined, to practice, to be part of their team. It's an individual sport. People can set their own goals. Uh, they achieve by the effort they put forth individually. Uh, they can also be part of a team. You can get the type of kid um, you know, that can be successful in rifle that might not be that large-bodied physical athlete that's going to excel on a football field. I also like the co-ed aspect of it, you know, as the father of two girls. They stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with any boy around and shoot just as well. So it's an empowering thing for the girls to be as good and in many cases better than you know, their, their male counterparts. Nora Stephendurfer has spent the last 43 years training young people to excel in the sport and excel as outstanding adults. His club is Antietam Junior Rifle Club, and he has helped hundreds of people through his years of being a coach. His team members have gone on to shoot on college teams and the Olympics. The main thing to give a kids and the shooters a worthwhile, challenging and rewarding educational experience in this highly skilled sport. Look at the individual scores or the goals that they set. If, they're, if their goal and ability to shoot relatively low scores, and that's fine. If I think they're going to college, then we look at what colleges are accepting score-wise, and we go based on that. But that's not the sole criteria. It's a lot of self-initiative and their own individual goals.
competitive rifle, like all sports, requires hard work, practice, and discipline. Athletes learn their sport, build muscle memory and endurance, learn attention to detail, and good sportsmanship. I'll practice um, four or five times a week. Whenever you first start, if you don't start shooting 600s, uh, you can't quit. You just got to keep working at it, practice every day, just try hard, and you'll get there eventually. In order to succeed in the shooting sports, you have to have discipline, you have to be able to practice, uh, keep at it. Competitive rifle is a mental sport where the athlete must master the mental game. He or she must be able to focus attention on taking a precise shot 60 times in a row. It's more of a mental game than anything. Rules need to be memorized and followed. Equipment must be tweaked for peak performance and technique must be perfected. What you're doing is combining mental discipline with a tremendous amount of physical discipline. It's a very meditative kind of sport. Rifle athletes use concentration and discipline to fire shot after shot with the goal to score 10 every time. They have to stay focused on what they're doing and make sure they complete their shots during the time allowed. If we lose focus, we can very easily become distracted and shoot a bad shot. Exercise and proper nutrition are needed to shoot accurately shot after shot. In preparation for a match, I do try to stay away from caffeine, which is in chocolate and coffee, soft drinks. Avoid caffeine and sugar and anything that will get your heart rate up. Serious athletes in this sport pay close attention to what they eat. Caffeine, chocolate, and sugar in their diets translate into unsteadiness and shaking on the line, making it hard to score tens. Avoiding these foods becomes very important on the days leading up to a match. Caffeine can stay in your system for 72 hours. Safety is the first concept taught to all athletes in competitive rifle. Athletes learn to handle their equipment and themselves safely and respectfully both on and off the range. You have to have a respect not only for the tools that you're using but for the people around you. When we would go out to Camp Perry in Ohio and you'd have up to 200 kids, teenagers, on the firing line at one time. When they were offline, they were having fun, they were teenagers, they were talking about the latest video games, TV shows, going to dances, their boyfriends or lack of, girlfriends. But as soon as the call came for them to go online, a, a, a mantle came over them of discipline and control because they were well aware of what they had in their hand. In addition to firearm safety, competitors learn how to protect their bodies from certain you hazards of the sport. Right we're looking at long range ramifications, like the contamination. Proper posture so that kids aren't gonna have any long term injuries or health effects because of uh, the repetitive nature of the sport. Hearing protection, lead testing, and proper positioning are used to protect the shooter's long term that, health. Because of the extreme right. emphasis on safety, competitive rifle has one of the highest safety ratings of all sports. Make sure they're shooting safely, come away from the range healthy. You've got about a four-inch differential. You're leaning back this way. There are two different rifles involved in this sport, the 22 caliber rifle, which is called small bore, and the air rifle. Precise equipment is essential for athletes to perform well, so both small bore and air rifles are ergonomically designed to fit the athlete. You think about a, a rifle, you, you put a bullet in it, you pull the trigger and it goes bang, that should be all there is to it, but when you get down to it, um, the engineering and, and the uh, mechanics, I mean, you, not only do you have to be a shooter, but you really should be an engineering student because if you want to, you could fiddle with your rifle all day long trying to make it suit you or be more perfect. The athlete wears a sweater, jacket, pants, boots, gloves for those with corrected vision and special glasses. Other equipment used includes an off-hand stand, spawning scope, mat, kneeling roll, and timer. All equipment used is strictly regulated at the international level. When I first started 40-some years ago, 
we could get by with basic equipment, like you would go and buy at a um, general shooting sports store. And we adapted the individual uh, many times to the equipment. In the last 15 years in particular, equipment has come out that we can adapt the equipment to the child or the shooter, because every child, every shooter is not physically the same. Some may be six foot five, some may be five foot six. Some may weigh 210, some weigh 90 pounds. So there's been a big, tremendous change in the type of equipment that is available for kids to use to shoot. And that has drastically changed the entire shooting concept, skill-wise. Matches are held year-round in the U.S. and around the world. Advanced competitors spend a lot of time traveling. Many of them get to experience a taste of college life through special matches held at NCAA rifle ranges around the country. I've competed in Colorado Springs, Colorado at the Olympic Training Center. At a couple colleges. At West Virginia University, Ohio State University, the Naval Academy, Akron University. I went to the Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs and shot in the Junior Olympics. Good sportsmanship is a big part of competitive rifle. Through shooting, I've met some of the best people that I know. A genuine love and respect exists between <laughs> rifle competitors, coaches, and families. I've met amazing, wonderful people. I've seen kids with handicaps being very successful and uh, forging new relationships with other kids and being accepted by them. The people I've met while shooting have been the nicest people I've ever met. The people involved in the sport live good sportsmanship. They truly support and look out for each other. Everybody's just so supportive. The families, the, ki the other kids, um, they're just wonderful. All of that mental toughness also pays off in the classroom. Many coaches and parents credit Competitive Rifle for its influence on athletes' school performance. School work comes first. If there's a conflict between schoolwork, practice, and a match, they do their homework first. We want top-notch students academically and, if possible, top shooting tours. I was an, a mediocre student. I, I had mostly A's and B's, but maybe a C here and there. And then I started to shoot, and I gained uh, interest in it, and more interest and more interest. And then I decided that, hmm, this is pretty fun. Maybe I want to do this in college. So it, I kind of set goals for myself through shooting to go to college. So once I started shooting, getting more serious, my grades started going up and up and up and up. The focus, concentration, and discipline help them with grades. Their good grades along with high SAT or ACT scores are needed to get into college. You have to have good grades in the sport for even a college coach to pick you up. It took me from being a small town boy to going to the collegiate level. It also helped me get to, get to the school of my dreams that I wanted to go to, which was the United States Naval Academy. College rifle coaches look to recruit athletes with good grades and test scores, since they all want good students on their teams. The number of years that I've been with the club, we've had approximately about now about 55 kids go on to shoot collegially in either Division I or two schools. And what that means for a lot of them is the difference between being able to go to college or not because of the expenses. So in this little club of ours, we're approaching a million and a half dollars in scholarship money over the years. Now, a lot of that's combination shooting scholarship and academic scholarship. Competitive Rifle teaches young people the life skills they need to lead successful lives. Junior rifle programs like Antietam have helped many to become outstanding citizens as well as collegiate and Olympic athletes. The two main things it taught me were um, self-improvement, how to be a self-starter, but also discipline. I learned the value of hard work. Time management. That winning is not everything. What responsibility really is. Being able to balance workloads. It's taught me that if you really truly want something and you work for it, you will get results in the long run. And it has made me realize the person I want to become. There are three, three things I'm looking for with a shooter. Character, integrity, and sportsmanship. 
And if we don't teach that to the children when they go on to future jobs, perhaps, that those three principles will not be instilled in them. These programs have helped many youth to become outstanding moral adults. You must be honest, you must have a high degree of integrity, and your character must be above reproach. Antietam Junior Rifle Club is just one of many competitive rifle clubs that can be found around the world.